back to Nick. I'm Austin. I'm Tim Seamers. And I'm Kelly. Today we're going to show you how to measure mass. Mass is a measurement of how much matter is in an object. And to do that, we're going to use a triple beam balance. This is a triple beam balance. What it does is you have hundreds weights, tens weights, and ones weights. And what that does is once you place your object on here and line it up with zero, what you have to do is you have to move these so so you can get the exact object. To show you how you support how you can move this to line it back up with zero, Callie's going to show you how you, how, how you do that. Okay, so first you need to line it up with this notch right here. So what you want to do is you want to line it up. Okay. So I twisted the object and it got to zero. You still gotta move it. You still gotta twist it just a little bit more. Okay. So after I twist it, you might have to twist it again if it didn't really work. Yep, there we go. Probably the other way a little bit. Okay. And after a while, if you just can't get it, just try to get it as close as you can. Like, yeah, for that's the sake right. of time, what we're going to do is just hope this one comes close enough. It's yeah, and it you just got to get it as You got to get it as close as possible, and that's as close as I could possibly get it, probably. Okay, so now you're going to take any object, and you're going to measure the mass of it. So you're going to take this book and set it on the scale. And so, see, it's not... It just went up. So now, what you need to do is you need to start with the hundreds, and you always start with the hundreds and go down. So I'm, so here, and Austin's gonna show you how to do it. Okay. So probably want to start from 100, 200, 300 is a bit too much. So you go back to 200, and that's far as it can go. And I'm gonna move the tens. There's a 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 70 too much, so I'm going to go back to 60. And now, now so move the ones. Okay. Here, Tim, use the pencil to use it. So I move it here. Um, here, um, closer, and keep, keep going, keep moving, keep moving. And what Tim is trying to do, he's trying to get it as close as he possibly can. Like, he's so, trying just to, like... He's trying to get it in the middle, and so what he's going to do... And so it's about... you got to be really patient. It's about later. good. We have to do a little back, and it's about good right there. So it's going to be about 268 grams. 268, yep, 28 grams. And... So and how you, you add it up is you start and you see the 200 and you go over to the 60 and then you see 8. But if it's between if it's between the 8 and the 9, actually you I do think it's 268.1 grams. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So it would be point instead of just. Eight. So what it would look like is this. Okay. And you always want to try to label it so you know what it is. And that is how you make. And that has how how you measure an object object mask using a triple beam balance.